Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Resident Evil 2. Alrighty, when we left off, we had just completed the demo portion of the game that we have already seen. Uh, we just did a little, little slower than most with the portable safe addition as well. And uh, now we are continuing on through the game as we are supposed to. Um, I have blown through a bit of ammo. Uh, gotten hurt a little bit but we fixed that but we still look like our damn dorky selves and it's great it's fucking fantastic alrighty so that said our knife has taken a bit of wear and tear in the process uh, I learned that the knifing strategy uh, like in Resident Evil 4 kinda viable it won't keep them down it'll at least keep them out for a little bit but it won't keep them down so, as it stands for right now, it will continue to be a problem. I should probably get the boards back. I think I put them in the item box. I think. Don't quote me. I kept them in my personal inventory. That's good. Good of me. Could have sworn I did something stupid with them. Usually, it'd be right. Also, I found out about this as well. In the bottom, you can't really see it, but it says, we do it. <laughs> we do it! <laughs> Alright, we're doing good. Alright, um, is there anything down here? No. Nothing good, anyway. Alright. Gonna keep on moving. You're dead. Spade key will not help here. But, uh... Can't get into that. Nothing's come over here yet. So I'm not going to worry about it quite yet. But, uh... It's, a uh, confiscated item storage. That means it should be full of good stuff. Eventually. Alright, and let's, uh, close this up, because I know this one's going to be a problem. Just have a feeling on it. I'm not entirely sure why. Oh, hi there! You're alive. Good to know. Fuck. You Okay, you should be down. You should be down for good, and I'm going to make sure you are. Good. Don't need no stick and gun. Defeat an enemy with a knife. Really? That counts? That counts. Alright, I guess that counts. That's weird, but okay. Alrighty. I'm gonna double on back through here. There we are. We're good. Make sure we didn't miss nothing. Dead body over there. Killed the guy who was over by the snack machine. Killed him right over there. He's very dead. He must have got a snack eventually. Because this guy I don't think was open. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Okay. Cold drinks! What a name brand. Okay. Nice. Get in here. What is this? Ooh, more gunpowder. Thank you. Uses of gunpowder. Gunpowder, high-grade gunpowder, and a mag ammo. Oh, so we do get the magnum. Okay. There's not a lot of ammo left around the station, so make good use of any gunpowder you find. Different guns require different ammo, so pay attention when you're combining things or you won't get what you need. Yep. That seems obvious. And gun ammo. Thank you didn't seem like a lot though because it wasn't Ugh. well uh it's like uh you didn't manage anything um oh, okay damn it I remember there was a combo that a streamer was screwing up so bad, but I 
don't remember the combo. I remember 9 and 15, and that's it. Ah! Damn it. Who's this guy? Operation report. September 28th. Uh, it's down to just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We're not going to make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently, there's a secret tunnel under this pl place uh, left over from its museum days. It used to be a museum. I brushed her idea off before, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof there's even a tunnel or that the sewers aren't infested with zombies, but I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try and find out what I can about that tunnel. Elliot Edward. That was the guy who died. Uh, was torn in half, if I remember right. Yeesh. Okay. Rookie's first assignment. Oh, this is for me. Leon S. Kennedy, we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. Fuck off. That's just... Don't put the newbie through shit like that. Come on. Be nice. A little bit. The key to your success is in the initials of our first names. Input the letters in order of our desks. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both. Basically, your first task is to remember our remember your fellow officers' names. But you figured that much out, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it takes a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. And that's Marvin's note. Scrawled in a corner between drops of blood. Be glad you're not here, rookie. I'm assuming that's his addendum. All right, so this is David Ford. Elliot Edward. This guy is Neil Carlson. So Ned. Be Ned on the side, wouldn't it? Yes! That was right. Good. And this side was Marvin Brano. <laughs> okay. Hi there, bud. What the hell? Yeah, what the hell is right. Okay. Well, you're done. You're very done. Rita Phillips and... Whoever you are, you are George Scott. George Scott, Rita Phillips, and Marvin Brenna. MRG? Uh, M. R. Uh, G. Yes! Cool. Leon S. Kennedy. High capacity mag for the Matilda. Huh. A custom part for the Matilda that extends clip capacity to 24 rounds and shortens reload time. Holy hell. So that's what makes the Matilda viable later on. Okay. Good to know. That said, I do prefer the look of Wesker's gun. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just do. You will pry my vanity from my cold, dead hands. Which will be sooner than most, probably. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, I can open that up. Yes. Oh, fuck off. Really? The one that's over there just woke up, didn't it? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Damn it. Alright, well. Use this. Unlocked. Still not used up yet. Damn it. Hi there, Marvin. Uh, there's some things going on back there. They're not good, man. They're not really good. Let me tell you. Right, let me put some of this stuff away that I don't need. Like that. And I might as well combine that with Oh, I, I don't have her on me. So, let's take the Matilda out. Listen to me talking to it like it's... Nah. Combine the high-capacity mag. God, that looks ugly. God's damn. 
Customizer. Customize a weapon. Yeah. Yeah, about that. Um, oh, it comes with 12 rounds already. Hmm. Kind of eases you uh, swapping into it. 58... 50 automatic express mag bullets. These are the most powerful rounds on the market for semi-automatic pistols. Yeah, no shit. Jeez. Like, if you're pointing that thing at a motherfucker, it's staying dead. Like, forever. Jeez. Okay, I'm going to move that over here. Ah. Uh... Still can't see myself using the Matilda. Yet. Key phrase, yet. <sighs> so I'll just store it for now. And then go over here. Sort. Good. It's right there at the top. At least until I get the next upgrade for it. Then I'll actually be willing to use it. Alright, might as well safety save. There we are. Good. Okay. So, uh, where should I go next? Um, safety deposit room. I should probably use that button over there. Get that all taken care of. All right. Guess it's time to move. There we are. All righty. Past Gooey Face and Mr. Busted Head. All right. And... Huh. Go back through that. That. Double check. I can't open that yet, but I can go through there. And up we go. Go through that for the fifth or sixth time now. No, I'm kidding. It's more like second or third. All right, and then we go through here. Go through there. And then we put this in two. There we go. Then uh, two. Oh. Wait. Wait. Double check. I can't do 203 yet, but I can do 208 for rounds that I can't use. Damn it! Balls. If only I had the third one. Wait, I can do 102. Yes! Gunpowder. Don't necessarily need it right now, but I can get it. All right. And the third knife will await me once I find the second button. I don't have the key. Where's the damn key card? Where the feck? They would put it somewhere if I'd seen it already, right? Right? Okay. Change floor. No, I just haven't seen it yet. All right, well, time to go that way. And put some of the stuff away that I don't need, which is that gunpowder mainly. All right, and then, pop, there we go. All right. Go up the stairs eventually. When I figure out where I am. There we go. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, asshole. Hi there. You're still very much dead. Um. Is there any... Any other direction I can go to while I'm up here? No. Not really. Okay. So I guess it just goes further up. A jack? Oh, yeah, that's in the library. That's right. I remember that. Okay. 
I was walking into a wall while I checked my recording to see if it was still going right. Which it was! Alright, so... There we are. Go through here. West storage room. Nice. Um, yeah, that was the storage room where the C4 was planted over there. If I recall correctly, which I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, C4 was just right there. Waiting for a thing to have me detonate it. Which I don't have yet. Alright, we go through here. Alright, so. I cannot go that route. I need to get that jack undone so I can move that. And that, maybe? Or, wait, can I put that closer together and then I can run that way? I don't know. I do not know. But I'm going to find out eventually. Since all of these guys are dead, I can walk around freely. Yay, benefits of killing everything. Okay, I have to hold it the entire time I'm moving it. All right. Can I jump to make that work? Maybe? Wait. Okay. So I have to move this here and that over there. Damn it. Okay. That's how that works. Fuck. Damn it. It was Y to fill grave. That was a stupid joke. Okay, I guess I should go this way. Alright. Up this way, there should be something new, like a different entrance or something. Like that! Hey! Look at that. And an herb! Always nice to have an herb. Guide pamphlet. Welcome to Raccoon City. Did you know, while we are the home of pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation, mm -hmm, Raccoon City, they should have capitalized city there. Unless they were trying to leave a little Easter egg to suggest it isn't modeled after just random shit, but a particular city in Canada. A certain fuckboy then pointed it out. Anyway, is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. In this guide, we'll introduce you to just a few of the more unusual points of interest our city has to offer. Raccoon City Police Station. The building in the center of town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall remind us of a bygone era. Orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation. Oh, that can't go badly, can it? With the help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window, which attracts visitors from around the world. Why? It's a stained glass window. It is not that special. Uh, I feel like I'm going to be able to figure this out. Screw that. Screw that mess. Still missing. Lost child. Car Carly Bullet. Carly Bear? Carly Bear. Okay. Police officer. Martin Branagh. Officer of the Month. Good. Good for Marvin. Okay. Open that up. And that's the end of its usefulness. Neat. Discard. And we're good. 
All right, and there's nothing else over there I can use, so away I go. Okay. Welp. That didn't sound good. That did not sound good at all. I should probably grab that too, just to be safe. But before we go investigate that, let's check a couple things in here. Oh, that's where it is. Put that over there. Yay. Oh, wait. There's the statue from the photo. And there's the hand. Statue's left arm. Put that over here. And that's where you're supposed to put the arm, but there's supposed to be something there with it. There was the book, which was that big book that we found. Uh, wait a minute. Can I open this? Can I open this? Nope. I figured I'd try. No oh, man. I tried anyway. All right, so. Well, we can't go this way because we need a crank, which we don't have yet. I guess we gotta go this way. To figure out what happened with the big crash. Ooh, more herb. Oh, oh! Got lodged right over here. Well, there's no going that way. Also, you're very dead. This is very dangerous. We should probably go try and get to Claire. It's down here. Hey! Leon? Claire! Claire! Hold on! I'll be right there! <laughs> There's okay. the goofy outfit I put her in. <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh oh. Not good. Claire. It's so nice to see you. How are you doing? <laughs> it's like this is set in the 50s. I'm in one piece. Yeah. I'm guessing you don't have a key in one of those fancy pockets? Uh, unfortunately, no. Mm. But how are you doing? You know, just surviving. They are just sitting here flirting the entire fucking time. Good luck with your brother? No, not yet. Damn. Claire, don't lose hope. I'm sure we're going to find him. Hopefully not in there. You know what that means? Yeah. Dinner time. Uh-huh. Oh boy. You should run. I think you should go. Don't you should run. Me, Leon. You take care of yourself. I I can take care of myself. You need to go. You yeah. have a lot of problems incoming now, so you should go. Okay. Let's get through this. Both of us. Absolutely. But that requires you leaving. Cause that is not a good situation looking over there. Uh, oh, hi there. We've got a situation here. I'm surrounded by zombies. Yeah. Marvin, you copy. Marvin. Uh-oh. Damn it. Well, Marvin's out. Marvin is out of the picture now. <gasps> Cutting tool. And let's get a good look at that. Bolt cutter. Tool for cutting through chains and other metal objects. Handgun ammo. There we go. It looks about right. A uh, key card. Plastic card. Uh, I meant to examine that. Weapons locker key card. Weapon lock. Weapons locker key card is written on it. You don't say. It's kind of big bold letters. Please note. Key card may only be used by an active member of RPD. Please contact the firearms unit if you lose this card. Please return this card promptly after use. Please exercise caution when handling firearms. No shit. Uh, please return all firearms to their original locations after use. Good notes. Anyway. Uh, let's look at that. Looks like it's supposed to be holding something. Yes, it is. And I'll get that in a second. Um... Sure to come in handy in a pinch. And it is very bloody. And a little damaged. 
from that notch in the blade there, that is very obvious. That's, well, the notch that's not supposed to be there. Other side's fine. Okay, so... Would going back this way be a viable option? No, it would not! Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Okay. Thank you. Oh, great. Okay. Time to run away. Time to run away. Oh, joy. Alright, well... Here, fuck off. How are you still not dead? You're on fire. You fuck. How are you still not dead? God. All right. Well, can I get my knife back? Yes, I can. Although it's very used, and now it's all the way used. You're dead. Really? You're still not dead yet. How? Shit. Fuck. Come on, really? You're dead now. You have to be dead. Well, there's no reusing that knife anymore. It's gone. Okay, then. This was a bad idea. A very bad idea that only went worse as time went on. And there's very much still not going this way. This looks like cans of food. That's weird. Alright. Well. Anyway. That did not go well. I will get this board, though. Add it to the pile I currently have. And let's use these bolt cutters to cut through this. Good. Ah, okay. Go, oh, get off, you fuck. That is not fair. That is not fair. You should not have been... Fucker. Come on. Be dead already. Fuck you. That is not fair. Okay, you... You're still very dead. Please continue to stay that way. For the foreseeable future, you son of a bitch. Again. Again with you. Again with you. Why? Why do you continue? Oh, fuck off. Come on! Damn it! Get off of me! Get off of me! Get off of me! Get off of me! Fuck it! God damn it! Getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. This is not working out. Okay. You know what? Really? How am I missing? How am I missing those shots? Is beyond me. Stay dead. Please. Cut through that. Please. Thank you. Bolt cutters still have use to them. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm as dead as can be. I'm dead. I'm super duper dead. Okay. That is graphic. That is graphic, and I am dead. Whoo! Huh. So much for the deathless run. Uh, I knew it was bound to happen. Uh, I knew it was bound to happen. Sometimes it's hard to tell if a zombie is still a viable threat or not, so when in doubt, poke it with a knife. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks, game. It's kind of easy to do that when you have a knife. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to learn from my mistakes and not go up there again. Instead... Just avoid that area entirely, because there's nothing viable there, except death and murder.
Okay. You're still very dead. You better be staying dead. Oh, fuck off. Oh, good! You, Your head blew up. In the second shot. Thank you. Am I going to actually succeed with you this time? Maybe. Fuck. Okay, it keeps sounding like there's more of them down there. Fuck you. Oh, great. Really? Could I just hit once, please? Could you stop dripping over there? Fuck. Fuck. Alright. Well, when in doubt, poke with a knife. Okay. Yeah, let's break that open. Okay. Alright, well. Can I? I can. Whoo, good. Good. Board that off before it becomes a threat. Also, I forgot the board back there. Should re-pick that up. Good. There we go. And fuck you guys. I am not sticking around to deal with your asses. Instead, I'm going to go in here and try to avoid death for the second time. There we go. Fuck off. Go down already. Thank you. Gunpowder. Okay. Well, I'm not going to be able to pick that up because I am over my limit of inventory as it is. Oh, you're going to come back. That's for sure. Um, you're twitching a lot, so I'm going to assume that you're going to come back. No, you're not. Not anymore. That's for sure. All right. That's the valve. I needed the valve. And high-grade gunpowder. Fuck. I do not have a use for you. At least not yet. At least I know where you are. Electrical part. Again, a thing I don't have a use for. Ah, uh, fuck me. All right. You know what? My health is at fine. I would have been better off if I did use up my knife. Fuck. Alright. Well. Let's uh, unlock this door. Oh, you fuck! How dare you? How dare you, sir? Okay, I heard someone else wake up. Okay. Someone else has woken up. Oh, great. Thank you. Go down already. Thank you. Go down. Please stay down. You're dead. Okay, good. Stay down. I don't have a knife. That's what the problem was. Okay, good. Well, I mean... Come on. Stay. Dead. Knife is gone. That's fine. Kind of works out to my advantage here. Stay down. Please just fucking stay down. Okay. I will take that. I am now out of ammo. Great. Alright. So... Might as well bring that with me. Because now I have a place to put it. Because that should have cleared out the entire hallway here. Which is good. So I needed it emptied. Oh, another board. Fantastic. Fuck. I'll get you later. 
I will get you later. And this should leave the door completely open when I put this part in. Nice. Perfect. I will go over to the item box and throw all the things I don't need away. Oh boy. Store that. Store that. I will need this. We'll need that just to combine with this. Thank you. Perfect. Left arm with book. Nice. The book fits it like a glove. Good. Good to know. I will need a knife. I will need that there. Thank you. I'm going to put this away. Good. And then sort. Perfect. Alrighty. It's time to save. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. First death. Uh, first death, and we managed to bounce back from it to get back to our safe room. But for now, it's time to end the episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and dying for the first time. But we uh, managed to bounce back from that. Uh, we got multiple things that we needed to progress. And now we just need to uh, get to them. So that way we can use them up, which should probably take all of the next episode for you.